Welcome back to Jamie and Julia. I'm Jamie. With me, as always, is the lovely Julia Child. Oh! <laughs> bon appetit. I'm just an ordinary dude trying to teach myself how to cook, learning new recipes, following along to this cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking from Julia Child. I go in this book, I pick a recipe, and I make it. That's the name of the game. Today we're gonna make Tornettos Saute aux Champignons. Fillet steaks with mushrooms and Madeira sauce. So what is a Tornetto, you ask? Well, Tornetto and filet mignon are steaks one inch thick cut from the fillet of beef as illustrated on page 306 like right here. The circumference is usually wrapped in a strip of fresh pork fat or blanched bacon and tied with strings so that the steaks will keep their neat circular shape. Now just to make this like a full dish, I'm gonna add in the new potatoes sauteed in butter with asparagus tips cooked in butter. Butter. Always butter. I'm gonna strategically do this how. Potatoes first. Julia Child calls these new potatoes, or she calls them new potatoes, but the book is pretty old, so I'm gonna say they're like middle-aged potatoes. <laughs> they're just the baby ones, right? Baby potatoes. Do not wash the potatoes, simply pat them. Okay, I'm gonna wash them. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with a frying pan. One ounce of butter, one ounce of oil. Once the butter starts foaming, add the potatoes. If you wanna peel your potatoes, go right ahead. I don't care. For me, personally, I just like, I like when the skin's on. After two minutes, I'm gonna like roll them around and then do something like this. Continue doing this for five minutes until the potatoes are a pale golden color. Sprinkle the potatoes with some salt. Lower the heat, cover. Shaking every couple minutes, I'm gonna cook these for uh, 15 minutes. Potatoes are going, let's move on to the asparagus. Let's give these a little wash. Asparagus tips are part of the spear from the tip as far down to the asparagus is green and still tender. Like here. Hold each asparagus by its butt and moving your fingers up towards the tip, bend the spear until it snaps in two. Cut the tip off so that each is one and a half inch long. One and a bit. Dice the remaining stock. This is the first time I've ever done asparagus like this. I don't know what I'm doing exactly. I'm trusting the recipe is what I'm doing. Dice stock and the one and a half inch tips. Using some string or whatever, put these tips into a bundle. Okay, screw it. I can't get those all bundled up together, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. So after 15 minutes, the potatoes are done. So drain the pan with all its sauteing fats. Yeah, it's like asparagus tips with diced asparagus stock. Hmm. I have no idea. I have bacon, I'm gonna blanch it in some simmering water. After 10 minutes, it's dry, the bacon. So here's my steak. Uh, I went to the butcher and said, I need something that's gonna make me a filet mignon. And he said, this will do just nicely. It was the filet part of the beef, which I showed you in the other diagram. This is about like an inch and a half thick and like, two and a half inches in diameter. Wrap the bacon around the steak. Uh... Blanching of the bacon makes the bacon all these funny shapes, so it's kind of difficult to wrap your steak with it. But uh, I'm gonna use some string. I have the toothpicks holding it in place. Now I'm just gonna wrap it around with tie a knot. Take the toothpicks out. So it's difficult to wrap it around the beef. So I mean, this is what I've done. It's the best I, this is kind of amateur hour, but it's the best I could do. Cast iron skillet. Moderately high heat, ounce of oil, ounce of butter. Once the butter stops foaming, I'm gonna add the beef. So I gotta sear and brown each side of the steak. It's gonna be like three to four minutes per side. Uh, where are the tongs? I have misplaced my tongs. Oh, no I haven't. Flip the steak. When you push your finger in, there should be some resistance. That is medium rare. Totally. Steak is seared, take it off the heat. 
take you off the heat too. Immediately salt and pepper. Season, season, season. Flip it upside down and do the same on this side. It's getting smoky in here. Okay, what do I gotta do? I'm gonna put the steak into a pan and kind of just like cover it so that it stays warm. No? Yes? Yes. Drain all the fat from the pan, put it back on the stove, right? Okay, it's a beef stock cube and boiling water. Oh, that's good. Where's the, uh, where's the whisk? Beef stock into the pan, along with a tablespoon of tomato paste. Oh God, please have enough. Please have enough, please have enough. I need a tablespoon. Yes! Okay, more than enough. Boil rapidly. So while this is gonna boil, I'm gonna turn on the water for the asparagus. I'm gonna boil that rapidly too. It's all about timing, timing, timing. You want all the coagulate, coagulation, all that stuff that's remaining from the searing of the steak, you want all that stuff. Boiling that until it's been reduced to two to three tablespoons, uh, totally has a hurry up. So I'm gonna be using this Madeira wine, which is a sweet wine from uh, Portugal. And I need one eighth pint. One quarter ounce of corn flour, which I'll, I'll just use whatever I have left, which is running out. Oh, there's a good bunch. Okay, great. Mix that in quickly because you're supposed to mix it in with the wine first. Where's the whisk? Whisk it quickly. Because I didn't mix the corn flour and the wine together before I added them into the sauce, the corn flour is all clumpy. Pass it all through a sieve. This is thinking on the fly. All that stuff. Sauce back into the frying pan. And I should probably turn down the heat, totally. Actually, I should get this off the heat, immediately. And unbeknownst to you, I have some sauteed mushrooms and some butter. I've done this a couple times on the show before, so I didn't feel the need to show it again. I'm gonna add these into that sauce. Okay, it brings us back to the asparagus. Drop the diced asparagus into the boiling water. Just so you know, I probably should have done this before I did everything else. After five minutes, the tips. Baking dish. Smear it with butter. The placement of that butter was on point. Drain the asparagus. I'm gonna put the tips on top of the diced asparagus. Oh, you should do this a different way. Don't copy exactly what, I'm just kind of being a, I'm being a cowboy right now. And salt, pepper. I need melted butter too. And melted butter. This needs to go in the oven for 10 minutes. Three hundred and twenty-five degrees Fahrenheit. Add the steak to the pan, and I'm gonna baste it in the sauce. I need a spoon. Of course, you don't want to overdo this because you don't want your steak to be well done. You want that steak to be medium rare. So just actually, you know what? I'm gonna take it off the heat because I just don't trust myself. God damn. Wow. Medium rare, right? Right? I think, yeah. Every single bite of that was Say bon. The asparagus, the potatoes, the steak, the sauce. I loved it all. I loved how it was all cooked. I wouldn't have changed a single thing. Actually, I think I would have made more sauce. The sauce ran out pretty quickly. There's been some recipes in this book that have just tasted like a butter punch to the face. And this one, although had a lot of butter, it just didn't taste like that. Uh, so it was really well balanced. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Also, this is gonna be the last episode in this kitchen. Uh, oh, I'm moving. So long, kitchen. Um, it's been a pleasure cooking in you. It's not the end, just the end of this kitchen. Besides that though, this was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. See you soon.